Look at this picture. This is actually a famous structure in China. Can you tell me what does this represent? What solid does it represent? Well, on a two dimension, you could say that it is a circle or a ring, but it is actually three dimensional. It is a solid. So it represents what? Kind of a hollow cylinder. You can see it has a curved surface, it has a height, but this is hollow from the middle. So this is a hollow cylinder. Now suppose the color of this gets faded and the authorities want to paint it. So they need to know how much surface they have to paint. So what will they find out? The surface area of this structure. For that, you should know how to find out the surface area of a hollow cylinder. Let's see. Well, a hollow cylinder has the dimensions height that is represented by H and capital R is the radius of outer circle and the small r represents the radius of the inner circle. You can say small r is the inner radius and capital R is the outer radius. Why outer and inner? You can say that the hollow cylinder is hollow from the middle. So now this circle has some radius and the outer circle also has some radius. So this is actually represented by capital R and the small one is capital represented by small r. Now the external curved surface area will be what? Now you know that a curved surface area of a cylinder is calculated by 2 pi Rh. So here we'll keep the same formula and putting capital R. Why capital R? Because we have to find out the external curved surface area. That is the outer curved surface area. So that is 2 pi Rh where R is the capital R that is outer radius. Now what about the inner surface? Now this hollow cylinder has some inner surface also. So the internal or the inner curved surface area will be what? Again 2 pi Rh. But here we have to replace this R with small r. Why small r? Because the inner curved surface area will be calculated with the small r as radius because the inner circle has the radius small r. So keeping the formula same, that is 2 pi Rh, we just replace the radius with small r in case of internal or inner curved surface area. So external is what? 2 pi Rh, but R is capital R, showing outer radius. And internal curved surface area is again 2 pi Rh, but R is the small r, which represents inner radius. Now, what about the area of this part? This shaded part. Now this also has to be painted. We have painted the outer curved surface area and the inner curved surface area. But this part is left. Now this part is left. Now both these parts also need to be colored. What will be the surface area of that? Well, you know that area of a circle is what? Pi r square. So here they represent two circles in both the cases. So the area of the outer circle will be pi capital R square and the area of the smaller circle with radius small r will be small that is pi small r square. But here you can see we have to paint only this part. So we do not need the area of the inner circle. We just need the area of the outer circle and this part. So what we need to do? area of the outer circle minus the area of inner circle. In that way, we'll get the area of this ring. So we can say that the area of circular end is what? Pi r square minus pi r square. This is what we do. In this case only, we'll get this minus this. So we are left with this white part. This is what we are left with, this white part. So pi r square minus pi small r square will give me the area of this circular end, that is the circular ring. But we have two over here. We have two rings at the top and at the bottom. So area of two circular ends will be what? Pi 
r square minus pi r square into 2 now taking pi common in both of these we get this so you can say area of one circular end is pi r square minus r square here we are having two ends so we have written area of two circular ends is 2 into pi r square minus r square where r here is capital R that is the outer radius of this hollow cylinder and small r is the inner radius of this hollow cylinder. So we found out that external curved surface area or the outer curved surface area is 2 pi rh where r is the outer radius. Internal curved surface area or the inner curved surface area is 2 pi rh where r is the inner radius and the area of two circular ends this and this top and bottom can be calculated by 2 pi that is 2 into pi r square minus r square that is outer radius square minus inner radius square. In this way we have calculated what the total surface area of this hollow cylinder here you can see that there is a pipe this is a hollow cylinder you can see that this pipe represents a hollow cylinder with a curved surface area inner curved surface area and two circular ends now the height of this pipe is 77 centimeter the inner radius represented by small r is 2 centimeter and the outer radius represented by capital r is 5 centimeter so now can you find out the inner curved surface area outer curved surface area and the total surface area of this do it yourself. Well, we've just seen that inner curved surface area is calculated by 2 pi rh, where this r represents the inner radius. So here the inner radius is 2 cm and the height is 77 cm. So let's put these values in this formula. That is 2 into pi, that is 22 by 7, into r, that is 2 cm into h that is 77 centimeter now this gets cancelled and we'll get 968 centimeter square why square because surface area is represented by square units now you know how to find out the outer curved surface area to find out the outer curved surface area of this hollow cylinder we can find it out by the formula 2 pi rh where r stands for the outer radius which is already given to us and h stands for height of the cylinder which is 77 centimeter so just put in the values and find out so this will give us 2 into pi that is 22 by 7 into r which is 5 centimeter into h that is 77 Now solve this, you will get 2420 centimeter square. Now why are we writing centimeter square? Because this is outer curved surface area and area is always represented in square units. Now to find out total surface area, we need to have what? Inner curved surface area plus outer curved surface area that we have already calculated. But we have not calculated area of two circular ends. That is left. So in order to calculate total surface area, we need to have this. So let's calculate this. Area of two circular ends is what? 2 into pi r square minus r square, where this r represents outer radius and small r represents inner radius. So let's put these values in this formula and solve. 2 into pi into capital R that is 5 square minus small r that is 2 square. So what do we get? Now 5 square that is 25 minus 2 square that is 4. So we get 25 minus 4 as 21 into 21 
this gets cancelled. Now this gives us 2 into 3 that is 6 into 22 will give us 132 centimeter square. So this is the area of 2 circular ends that is 132 centimeter square. So now we have found out the inner curved surface area, the outer curved surface area and the area of 2 circular ends. So let's add these up to find out the total surface area. The inner curved surface area we had found out it was 968. Outer curved surface area was 2420 and the area of two circular ends was 132. So adding these up you will get 3520 centimeter square. So this is the surface area or the total surface area of this hollow cylinder that is this pipe. So now you know how to find out the total surface area. It is what inner curved surface area plus outer curved surface area plus area of the two circular ends.